Hello there, ladies and gentlemen, and uh, welcome to, um, well, really, I just needed something to talk over this week, but since I'm going to be discussing a lot of Spider-Man, it's time to play some Maximum Carnage, and oh god, it's the LJN symbol. Actually, Matt Azero would probably be kind of angry at me just for judging it, and, and this legitimately is one of the best LJN games ever made. This is a great game. I played it a ton when I was a kid. Um, I love this intro. Made It made me... I had never read the actual, actual Maximum Carnage storyline until I played this game, and I went back and read Maximum Carnage. It was amazing. What's that saying? Oh, the other good LJN game I've been playing a little bit lately is um, the Punisher game for NES. If you've never... If you've never uh, taken a look at it, um, Matt Azero, whom, whom I just mentioned, has a good uh, uh, a good review on it. He's you can find him as uh, Cygnus Destroyer. Um, I think there's like a 20xx in there somewhere. Uh, also, the Angry Video Game Nerd, I think, reviewed Punisher. That's not why we're here, though. We're here to talk about Spider-Man because uh, not that long ago, Spider-Man made some splashes by coming over to the uh, Marvel Universe, per se. Um, one that's very misleading. It's it's kind of a joint thing, as you can imagine. Oh, no, not Doppelganger. Um, it's a joint thing, and uh, Sony's still going to have primary control over what gets made and what's done, you know, except for loaning him out to these other Marvel movies. And so I guess my point of this all is, is everybody seems really excited to see Spider-Man in the Marvel Universe. And, and that's cool. That's great. I, I'm, not, I'm not trying to, like, downplay that, I guess. But I guess uh, that's my basic point as I figure out how this stuff works. I haven't played this game in years, by the way. Um, my basic point of all this is that his main movies still might suck. And, and like, I started thinking about that. You know, because Kevin Fahey, who has definitely proven himself lately, is going to be helping Sony with the next Spider-Man movie after he makes his appearance in Civil War. But even that could suck, because they they already had Civil War, you know, which Iron Man 3, I'm sorry, excuse me, Captain America 3, planned out and everything. And now they're going in and trying to add um, Spider-Man, and some people, of course, are like, oh, well, they'll just give his parts, you know, what would have been Black Panther's parts to Spider-Man. And I don't know. I it just I, I kind of worry about that. I don't like when they mess with stuff too much. Take your time, do it right, but a lot of problems with superhero movies usually comes from the companies going, oh no, no, now we can use this character, or oh no, we want to do this for blah reason, so change that, or put this in, or take this out, or whatever. Leave it alone. Let the people who are creating the thing do their thing. Um, you know, and don't get me wrong, I'm, I'm looking forward to seeing Spider-Man, I'm looking forward to seeing their version. I'm ecstatic over the fact that they're apparently not going to spend much time on the origin. Thank God. You know how many times I've seen Peter Parker get bitten by that damn spider? Okay, only about four you count the TV shows and stuff, but still, I'm, I'm done with it. I know how it works. Everybody knows how it works at this point. I think we're good. I don't want to see an origin story for Peter Parker. I don't want to, you know, I, does Uncle Ben really need to die again? How many times does this man need to die for Peter's sins? Um, I think the best thing that they could do with this is just try to make it natural. Try to find someone who works as a young kid, since they, they did say they wanted him to be high school age, which I'm, I'm fine with that. And just get a good actor, you know, decide if you want to focus on the, the type of Spider-Man who does all the jokes or who's just really nerdy and, you know, always worried. I guess, no more crying. Can we, can we not do any more crying? I wonder if that's too much to ask. Hmm. Anyway, um, I know they have two people they're looking at because they have to. They, they pretty much have to cast this guy like <laughs> next week um, to, to get everything in on time. And then 
you know, there was a hashtag that was trending for days after the the news was announced, and it was put Spider Man in everything. And um, no, no, I, some of them were joking, like you know, putting Spider Man in Fifty Shades of Grey, which I guess okay, that might have been pretty funny, but. Uh, but, you know, some people were talking about, like, Spider-Man, like, appearing in Thor Ragnarok. And I'm sorry, I just, I don't know what Spider-Man needs to be doing there. Um, somebody said Ant-Man, and I was like, one, maybe I'm wrong, but Ant-Man's, like, taking place in, like, California somewhere. You know, Spider-Man's very New York-centric. I mean, you could do something small, like have, uh, having the main character in Ant-Man read the news about some guy going around dressed as a spider. That might be cool. Oh, man. oh, that was not cool. Remember these chicks being hard? Sorry. Not chicks. That was my bad. These women who were about to kick my ass. Um, I guess the last thing I want to say about the Spider-Man. Yes, I wanted Donald Glover to be Spider-Man 2. No, I don't think they'll use Miles Morales. These are all things that just unfortunately didn't work out. I don't think it's like an insult or anything. But, you know, it could still be cool. Uh, one thing I will say is it amazes me how many people don't realize that the Japanese had a version of Spider-Man for a long time. They had a giant mech. Yeah, a lot of people still don't know that. There have been some really bad Spider-Man stuff. Go watch some of the 70s Spider-Man uh, shows that... Uh, I think they ended up getting recut into movies. Those are pretty bad. The Captain America ones weren't much better. But I loved his motorcycle with his shield on the front. Okay. Moving along. I have other movie news. And, uh... Oh, well, before I get off of, like... Uh, Marvel stuff. Uh, they cast um, cast a bunch of people for X Men um, Apocalypse. I'm totally looking forward to that. I'm actually trying not to read too much news on that because I wanted to be surprised. Oh god, I hate these sections. These are the worst part of this game. Like this is a great game. I love this game. I love beat 'em ups in general. Ugh, I gotta remember how to play this. Hold on. So stupid. You pretty much have to go the way that they tell you to go, or you're going to get hit by Shriek's uh, um, Sonic Blast, or whatever the hell. It looks like she's shooting yellow piss. I don't know. Anyway, I hate these sections. Um, I, I want more good Spider-Man games, by the way. Um, I don't know if I've discussed that with you guys. Uh, but yeah, anyway, so I think Apocalypse is going to be good, but they, they cast some people from Game of Thrones for, like, young, um, you know, young Jean Grey, and then I saw that they had cast some other people that they weren't fully coming out and saying who they were yet. I'm interested, I just don't want to know too much. It's just like, um, Age of Ultron, I really, I watched the first trailer, I'm good. You, you the ticket is already sold, I'm going to go see Age of Ultron at least once in the theater. And really, I don't need more trailers. And it, it, at this point, I'm just of the mindset that knowing too much more about it. Like, I know that apparently, like, entire chunks of the plot, if not the whole thing, uh, was released. And I just, I don't, I don't know. Um, I'm not down with that. I want I want some of it to be surprised. Oh, I got a stoppelganger. Forgot he was in this section, too. Oh no! Oh, really? Did you just thwack? Me? Did you thwack me and then hurt yourself in the fall? Um, Deadpool. I'm so worried about this Deadpool movie, but that's because I'm not a huge Deadpool fan. It depends on who's writing him, whether he's good or not. Uh, okay, there's that's over at least. Anyway, um, it depends who's writing him. Um, they cast, or they are casting someone for Colossus. I don't know why Colossus is in the movie, but I'm sure it'll be, you know, jokes at his expense. Oh, would you stop? You were much easier on the rooftop, or on the swing up here. There we go. Went hard. See you later. Alright. 
as Carnage uh, flops down on Jonah's desk there. Um, oh, okay, so I'm a big Highlander fan, or I used to be. I was a big fan of the movie, and I liked the TV show for a while. Um, we try to forget the movies after the first one existed. It's just the way it works. It's kind of like the Resident Evil series. But I will say this. So they're, you know, they're getting ready to redo it. And this movie has had a ton of problems. But now there's, it seems like they're getting their shit back together and everything. And they have cast Dave Bautista uh, as the potential guy to play the Kurgan. Dave Bautista is a wrestler, um, who, which is where I know him from primarily. But he was recently in Guardians of the Galaxy as Drax, the Destroyer. Are you serious? I, I was just trying to clean to the walls. Asshole. Oh, this, this is gonna happen. You're gonna get it. Uh, if you didn't hear, there was some alien news. Um, it has a director and it's going forward and it's uh, Blomkamp. I think I'm saying his name right. Um, he did District uh, District 9 and uh, Chappie, I believe. This is his new one coming out. I could be wrong with that last one, uh, but I believe that's him. Oh no, Lizzie! Don't don't attack me, Lizzie. I don't want to have to beat the shit out of you, or or get the shit beaten out of me since you you're pretty good. Yeah, um, I am a fan of the Alien series. If you haven't listened, I did a podcast with Eric Lockerbie uh, on the first three Alien movies, and we actually we keep saying we're going to get together at some point and do a podcast on Resurrection. AVP and maybe Prometheus, um, but then we realized we have to watch Alien Resurrection and AVP again, and so it just keeps kind of getting put off. I don't know. I'm gonna work. I'm gonna work on this. Okay, We've got these guys. Can I? No, I want to pick it up. There we go. Yeah. Screw you, hippie. Okay. All right, there we go. Uh, another movie news. Everything I'm seeing about uh, speaking of Batista, he's in Spectre. He's Hunks or Hinks. I think it's Hinks. Um, but he's um, he's going to be in the new Spectre movie, and honestly, it looks good. But I like James Bond. I love Daniel Craig as James Bond. So I'm interested to see where all this goes. And. Uh, uh, I reviewed Seventh Son, if you didn't see it, for Blank Man Inc. Um, that wasn't a good movie. And you can go read why. And I think I'm I think I'm done getting my ass beat because the game's over. But uh, I hope you guys enjoyed. We'll get back to Mario soon. And uh, yeah, have a good one.